Oh, look who's back. The grave robber. Hey, Lois. So, what happened? You find your treasure? No. I realized something after you left. It's not the treasure that matters. All that really matters is the money you get in exchange for the treasure. I guess I had to learn that the hard way. Peter, you were a real jerk out there. <sighs> I know. You were right. I took this thing way too far. And I'm really sorry about how I treated you and the kids. But you know me, if I read anything on a placemat, I just kind of go nuts. Can you forgive me? Chris forgave me. I can't wait for you to fall asleep tonight. Of course I forgive you, Peter. So I guess everyone else came to their senses too, huh? No, they all ran off to McCoy Stadium. What? Why? What's at McCoy Stadium? And there was a clue at the graveyard. Here, I took a picture with my phone. No, it's the next picture. Just swipe it to the next one. She saw me. You've crossed the miles, you've pawed through clues. Find where he hits, misses, cheers, and boos. Peter, this can't be leading them to a baseball stadium. Baseball wasn't invented until the 1800s. Wow, you're really smart, Lois. You know, Peter, in the first eight minutes of Meg's play before I walked out, they said Miles Musket was a horrible drunk and a wife beater. So when it says hits misses, it might be talking about hitting Mrs. Musket. And he probably misspelled Mrs. because he was drunk when he wrote it. Or maybe he misspelled it because cursive is hard and everyone should get off his back. And cheers and booze might be referring to a bar where he would cheers and drink his booze. Hits, misses, cheers, and booze. Wait a minute. It's got to be an old bar, right? The Clam's the oldest bar in town. <gasps> That must be where the treasure is. All right, let's you put some makeup on and get right down to the clam.